Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm very proud and honored to be here. First and foremost, um, representing the Journal of Bodywork and Movement Therapies. Um, and of course, to be able to present the two awards for the prize-winning abstracts uh, for clinical relevance. These were judged by our members of our editorial board and adjudicated by Leon Chato himself. So without further ado, although every single abstract deserves congratulations and we know how much work went into preparing them, and we are very, very glad to host them in the uh, current issue of the journal, which you should all have received with your delegates' bags. The second prize goes to the study entitled Study on the Mechanism of the Increase of Range of Motion by Foam Rolling, lead author Norikazu Hirose and co-authors. So, prize to the study entitled Myofascial versus Conventional Physiotherapy in Postmastectomy Patients, a Randomized Control Trial by Slavomir Marzalek and co-authors. So please come up. I'm very grateful to the organizers of this Congress for not only dedicating it to the memory of my father, Leon Chato, and acknowledging his support and the contribution that he made to the Congress and to many areas um, on which I know that all of your work touches, but also in allowing me to say a few words as many of you have now become aware, especially through conversations, perhaps through announcements that you've seen that I've made in recent weeks, Leon spent his last weeks and even his last day ensuring the smooth production of the Journal of Bodywork and Movement Therapies. It was a project he believed in so deeply and he gave his word and he always kept it. So we're particularly proud to be able to have it here and to be able to know that it will carry on. In the time that we worked on it together towards the end, he also shared a distillation of his thoughts that he isn't here to deliver, but I am. And this is a parting gift from him that I'd like to share. In speaking with many of you, it is clear that the essence of his impact on so many different fields was his unique ability to build bridges, to synthesize, to translate, to integrate, and to see the potential in sparks of ideas and in people. In the context of these, this Congress, this is nowhere more apparent than where bridges are most needed between laboratory research and clinical practice, between the various, the many bodywork disciplines, often starting from different sets of principles, and yet how much they can learn from each other, between senior academics and sometimes even celebrity practitioners and patients and students. Because that was the essence of how he saw his work and how he saw what he did. He was always learning tirelessly. He never rested on one success or the next. That's how it may have looked from the outside, but in fact, that's how he produced what he did. And 
he always used the word, it seems to be so, that even in science there are no absolutes, because as soon as you reach an absolute, new research can sometimes turn it on its head. And also, he learned from everyone and everybody he met. His hopes were, Leon's hopes were, that those who have seen the value of those principles, so many of you have come up to me, so many of you have, of you have written to me, to say how much value you saw in something he said to you or taught to you somewhere along the way. And his hopes were that these principles would continue to be applied. The breadth and the speed and the magnitude of laboratory developments demonstrate the significance of applying scientific rigor and always, always looking at the most recent evidence, no matter how successful the practice, that needs, it needs a solid foundation. Yet no matter how significant the research findings, ultimately they must be usable in the clinical setting because in the end, we are talking about people and we are talking about research that is trying to help people. And therefore they need to translate into plain language and be usable in the clinical setting. Leon's effort was always to educate in both directions and not to allow disciplinary boundaries to blind one or the other perspective to the importance of this communication and dialogue. And this is something that was so well put in the editorial, the special editorial written for this particular issue of the journal. So for those who truly wish to honor Leon's memory and contribution, these are the principles to hold on to. Practitioners, use the evidence. Researchers, please use simple language sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> because knowledge, for its own sake, isn't much good to anybody. And, of course, look to the young. He did, he did go too early. And that should be a lesson to us all. Look to the young, because sometimes that's where the spark can be, and that's where inspiration can come from. So in closing, the Journal of Bodywork and Movement Therapies, in a sense, remains Leon's li living legacy, as do all of you, as do all of you. But at the Journal, under the leadership of Geraldine and Cameron, who Leon appointed, and me, coordinating and dealing with too much email. <laughs> the spirit of the journal will remain very, very much the same with a terrific editorial board. We will continue to integrate, to synthesize, to be broad, to welcome early career researchers and to chase after the next great discovery, of course. And we hope that this unique blend will stand as his greatest legacy. And of course, we very, very, very much would welcome your contributions. Thank you very much. And thank you.